Upon the arrival of Nuno de Guzman in 1550, the town of Angangio was no man's land and no one suspected the riches that these tree-covered hills contained. Angangio did not stand out until 1792, when the avalanche of people came to work in the mines, and the merchants who had the need to congregate around the recent and prosperous town. Its mines in the colony, were exploited by the Spanish, who were followed by the Germans and English, and finally the French and North Americans in the last century. In the Sierra Madre Oriental, is Angangio, a town with an important mining past, its name accounts for the characteristics of its geography and means the same, town between mountains. This is the best located town to visit the sanctuaries of the monarch butterfly, and it is also the classic model of the Mexican mining towns, of great churches, small houses with tiled roofs, and evergreen mountains. The American Smelting and Refining Company was maintained until 1953, the year in which as a result of a disaster that occurred in the Dolores Mine, in which 25 miners died, the mines became part of the national heritage since then, the Impulsora Minera de Angonio was integrated, which continued to exploit the mineral and kept the population afloat until 1991. Having been one of the main mining towns in the region, gave it an architectural ensemble of impressive styles. Nestled in the transverse volcanic axis is this town, famous for its glorious mining past. Angangio is due to the fact, that it is one of the prestigious sanctuaries that the monarch butterfly chooses year after year, to visit Mexican lands and paint its blue skies orange, one of the most important animal migrations in the world, unique in its kind. The monarch butterfly biosphere, comprises 56,000 hectares, of which 70% corresponds to Mesoacan. They present special conditions for this Lepidoptera to inhabit in winter, cool temperatures, clouds and mist that give them water and humidity, trees that protect them from hail and snow. This sanctuary is home to millions of monarch butterflies, that emigrate each fall from the Great Lakes in the United States and Canada, to the east of Mishoacan. The most amazing thing about their journey, is that they do not know the path by their own experience, but through a mysterious memory collective. Every November, millions of these orange-winged insects, leave the forests of the northern United States and Canada, 
traveling more than 5,000 kilometers to their sanctuaries located in central Mexico, and hibernate in the oyamos of the biosphere reserve of the monarch butterfly. During the rest of the winter season, the monarch butterflies shelter in the 56,000 hectares of wooded landscapes, and impress those who visit the sanctuaries of the Sierra Chinquua and El Rosario with their beauty.